Hi guys, back with Bastons. I hope you're all well, I hope you're all keeping safe. Today I'm in the beautiful city of New York. I would recommend everyone here to come away and stay weekend. You know, perhaps with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your lover, your mistress, your wife, I don't know, your auntie, your uncle, whatever takes your fancy. Um, but I'm not here to, to talk about what the outfit I'm wearing, which a lot of people have asked me, why don't you do more about the clothes? Which I think I will do. I think I'll start, you know, everyone knows I've got my own telling company. But I've been dressed like this, sort of, well, not exactly like this, but like this most of the time. It's something, you know, semi casual for me. And I'll talk more about style and men's fashion. We will get into those vlogs at a later stage, I promise you that. But here today, I'm here specifically to talk about my new watch. Yes, it's the Tudor Black Bay P01. I recently did an in vlogging of this watch, and I've got to say, it is absolutely splendiferous. I'm so over the moon with this. Now, when this was launched at uh, uh, Basel World in 2019, it got a lot of flack because Tudor put the teaser on Instagram. Everyone thought they were going to go back with a Submariner, and they didn't. They came out with this, which was a prototype that had been developed, a failed prototype uh, for the US Navy. Beluva got the contract instead, and everybody thought it was a bit of a cop-out. And the watch didn't really get a good reception. I did try one at Schiphol Airport. I did like it. I told you in an earlier vlog, I went to a jeweler's the other night, it was the watch that caught my eye. And what's different about it? Well, it's just, it's so idiosyncratic. I mean, the dive bezel, for instance, okay, it doesn't have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's one to 12. So do you use that as a, as a second potential GMT movement? And yet it's not a GMT. Uh, the lug opens and locks in the dive bezel, you know, and it's a 60 click bi-directional dive bezel. It's just such fun. And you look at the heft of it, you know, it's only 42 millimeters. It's 14.4 millimeters thick. It has a sort of old school dome sapphire crystal on it. Um, same movement that's actually in the Tudor Pelagus, you know, 70 hour power reserve, really strong, robust movement. I mean, they're well made, but they're not, you know, they're a bit agricultural. If you open this up, it wouldn't be beautifully decorated. Um, and you look at the lugs. I mean, look at that, you've got movement there but then you've got movement on the strap so it's it's just so different and you know the crowns at the four o'clock position they haven't put fatina on it which i like it is a sort of cream and off-white so it enhances the age the dial is a sort of um not a not a shiny dark black more like a matte black um the leather strap yes leather one side rubber the other side very comfortable to wear the clasp is absolutely amazing you know it is absolutely stunning um, i have to say you know <sighs> incredible value for money and i think this is what this channel i've always said is about you know this watch is priced at 2990 pounds and it's brilliant bang for your buck um you know equivalent sort of rolexes steel sports ones about five thousand pounds more and do i think they represent bad better value for money no i don't the fact that you've also got to pay probably about ten to twelve thousand pounds more or probably ten to fifteen thousand pounds more to get those models they definitely do not Tudor in the sort of fifteen hundred to three thousand pound price range i don't think there is a better pound for pound watch brand on the market at the moment that's part of the reason I bought this watch. The other reason I bought this watch, it is just so completely different. Stay safe and stay tuned.